Hey guys, this is Blue One, and welcome to my 11th plugin tutorial. I already started making this, and it didn't work out so well. I accidentally uh, stopped the video instead of pausing it, and as I do not like to merge videos or edit them in any way, I decided to re-record this. So, this should be a little more organized than it was. I want to start out by saying that I'm now using Spigot 1.9.4 instead of 1.9.2, and although there's not really any noticeable differences, there will be some bug fixes and such like, so I recommend you upgrading as well if you can. If not, this should work for both 1.9.2 and 1.9.4. It might even work for 1.9. Um, I don't know how many things they've changed there, but I don't think it's there's been very many changes since it updated to 1.9. So let's get right into this. We're going to be working on advanced subcommands. These are a lot of fun because you can do things much, much more detailed and much easier than having to register every single command and having to type a different command for everything that you do. Essentials has a lot of commands that they have um, registered and that you have to remember. And it, it might be easier if it was more categorized into subcommands and um, we're going to work on doing that today. So we'll start out by creating a new command right here. Uh, we're going to have to make sure it's an instance of a player first. So if sender instance of player, uh, add an H into my player, that doesn't really belong very well. We're going to do then player P equals sender. We're going to have to import those and we will add cast. Then uh, we're going to have to do an else statement here. Else bucket dot get console sender dot send message. Oh, that didn't work. And we'll make it red so it stands out good. Um, only use this command as a player. Get my spacing right here. Mouse is a little jumpy today. Alright, so if cmd.getName dot equals ignore case, because we don't care if they use a capital letter or not, otherwise you can just use equals if you want them for some reason to make absolutely sure they use a capital letter or that they don't use any. Um, we're going to just name this test. Then if args dot length, this is the main thing you're going to be working with um, when doing advanced subcommands. We're going to have it if args.length equals zero. This is kind of like a get length method, only it's a static access thing. So it gets however many arguments that you've decided to use in your command. The way that it does that, it, it just appends the string at every space and divides it up into an array of strings, as you can see right here, which are called args. So args.length equals zero, that means you don't have anything typed after test. Then p.send message, uh, chat color dot aqua, because I like aqua, and it'll just send them the message test. That's just a confirmation. Now we'll use else if args.length equals one, then if args which this first argument is zero even though the length is one because that's just the way that Java counts args dot length uh, or no not dot length just args zero dot equals ignore case uh, goat if they type test goat then p dot send message chat whoa I don't know how I did that that's an interesting shortcut I'll have to remember that um, <laughs> Sorry, chat color the aqua, and it will be this time test goat, and I'm really screwing up. Okay, so else if args one args zero equals ignore case uh, sheep, then. P dot send message chat color aqua and that would be test sheep now if I can remember to test all of these out um, I, I might not 
remember to do all of them, but you can do that on your own, I suppose, since you're going to be doing this as well. Right now we've got, so if you type forward slash test, it'll send you the message test, and that's all it'll do because the argument length is zero. But if it's not zero, then if it's one, if the argument is goat, it'll send you test goat. If the argument is sheep, it'll tend you, send you test sheep. If you want to have more arguments, you can do if args.length equals two, and then define the second argument by changing this to one instead of to zero. And we're going to have to put some else statements just to tidy up the loose ends. So if it equals goat, then it'll do this. If it equals sheep, it'll do this. Else, that means if it doesn't isn't either of those, p.send message, and we'll do chat color dot red invalid sub command, just like that. And right here, if args.length equals 1, since we've already tested if equals 0 and we've already tested if equals 1, we have to make sure it doesn't equal anything else so they don't just type in a bunch of random sub commands and have it have them expect to do something. So we're going to do else p.send message um, chat color dot red because that's the commonly accepted error color. Uh, too many sub commands in this case. There we go. And that should be all. If command get name equals ignore taste test. Yes, we should have all of that done. I already have this in my main class. We've got the command and we set the executor to CMDs. Plugin.yml. Um, I'll show you the, the issue that I had with this, which was the reason that I had to pause the video and didn't end up pausing. I ended up stopping it. Um, I put in the command properly, and I put in the usage, which has this square brackets at the end with a space between the square brackets and the command, and that tells the plugin that it has to have a subcommand there, or that it can have, rather. I forgot to put this little space in here, and that caused an error with my work, so make sure that you do put the space in there just like you did with everything else, or that you should have with everything else. And that's already saved, so let's just reload this, refresh it, we'll export, same path we used before, and now we're going to reload, and in the console here we shouldn't have any errors, and we don't. Good. So now we'll type forward slash test, and there it is, test. Now we'll do forward slash um, help test and there it shows up as it should so now we'll do forward slash test space goat and there it is test space sheep now we'll do test space cow and as you can see it says invalid sub command now we're going to do test space cow no we'll do goat because goat works now we're going to do cow after that and it says too many subcommands. So I did test everything. I did remember. That's how you set up everything with subcommands. It's very simple. It's very useful, and it's um, it's just a lot. It's a lot of fun in general trying to get all of that stuff organized without leaving any open holes because you don't want it to say there's been an internal error because you forgot to check something. So make sure you do all of your checks by running all of your else else checks afterwards. Anytime you have an if statement, you should have an else, in, except for in this case, because um, there's a lot of commands to be run. So it already handles that. It'll just say unknown command, as you can see here. It already handles it. So that else is already taken care of. But for this, there's an else statement there, and there's an else statement. Anytime you have an else if, that needs to be appended by an else statement as well. As you can see here, we've got if, else if, and then else. So make sure you have all your setup tidy and no open holes. And I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, this has been requested now since, uh, I'd say, a month and a half ago. So it's about time I got this done, and I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe. If you have any suggestions or any requests, please leave those in the comments, and I'll be sure to check those out. 
and make a tutorial on those as soon as I can. This one, unfortunately, was a little bit late, and I'm not sure why I didn't get around to it earlier. It might have just been because it wouldn't have fit really with the order I was doing them. It was a little more complex than I had previously done, and I didn't want to confuse any new coders. So anyway, tell your friends about this. If they enjoy coding, or if you have any problems also with your code, you can let me know. Um, I don't access my Skype very often, so use the spigot forums instead my name is in the description there as well as the plugins that i've made and i'll see you guys next time